Today we are talking about schisandra, eleuthero, and rhodiola, but don't all adaptogens help with stress? One of the criteria needed for a plant or a substance to be declared an adaptogen is that it helps with stress. So by that definition, couldn't I just provide a list of adaptogens for this video? But what kind of stressors are we talking about? Psychological, physical, stress from exposure to extreme temperatures, sickness, cognitive stress, all of them, some of them? In just a moment, I am going to dive deeper into a study that was done on these three adaptogens. I will be right back. My name is Deb Day, and if you want more information on adaptogens, I have provided links at the end of this video. So please help this channel out by subscribing, liking, and commenting below on what you would like to know about adaptogens. Now, different adaptogens play bigger roles under different circumstances. And let's not forget other greats out there that help with stress, like ashwagandha, that helps repair the damage done by stress. Studies have revealed that these adaptogens exhibit neuroprotective, anti-fatigue, anti-depressive, nootropic, and central nervous system activity. All right, wait a minute. What's a nootropic? Well, generally, it's a substance that enhances memory and other cognitive functions, and yes, I will do a video on that too. Basically, adaptogens increase resistance to stress and decrease sensitivity to stressors. Okay, let's look at the study published in the National Library of Medicine from the Swedish Herbal Institute in Development on Rhodiola, Sandra, and Luthera. Scientists Alexander Panosian and Georg Wickman say that a number of clinical trials demonstrate that adaptogens exert an anti-fatigue effect that increases mental work capacity against a background of stress and fatigue, particularly in tolerance to mental exhaustion and enhanced intent attention. Now, let's look at what the study covered. And please note that varying degrees of success occurred depending on the length of the time the dosage was taken, age of the participants, and yes, even job type. I leave you to look at all the details of the study and the, and the link is in the description below. For this video, I'm just going to list the results. So for sure, Sandra, they found improvements in stimulating the central nervous system, the cardiovascular and respiratory systems, improvements in working ability, attention, quality and quantity of mental work performed, improvements in improved mood, relief from tiredness, fatigue, sleepiness, and exhaustion. For Luthero, they found significant improvements in vigor, especially in patients with moderate fatigue and a history of fatigue, improvements in selective memory for sailors. They found improved mental performance and increased levels of oxygen in tissues, reducing hypoxia, which could manifest as confusion, restlessness, difficulty breathing, rapid heart rate, and bluish skin. For rhodiola, patients with mild to moderate depression noticed improvements in insomnia, emotional instability, self-esteem, and psychological stress. For 20 to 55 year olds, there were improved symptoms in fatigue, attention, and depression. Where in 24 to 35 year olds, there were improvements in mental fatigue and performance with less errors. Perceptive and cognitive functions such as associative thinking, short-term memory, calculation, and the ability of concentration, and the speed of audiovisual perception. In 17 to 19 year olds, there were improvements in physical fitness, mental fatigue, and neuromotor tests. They had better memory and improved attention span, and increased general well-being. So when they combined Shisandra, Eleuthero, and Rhodiola, in 16 to 85 year olds and those suffering from acute non-specific pneumonia had a decreased had decreased the acute phase of the illness and increased the mental performance of patients in the rehabilitation period oh now for pilots significant improvements in precision dynamic a specific test for pilots sensor motor response which is their ability to react to their environment and improved attention and memory functions now, I don't know about you, but I want all my pilots to be really good at those things. When they combined Shisandra and Rhodiola, they found an improvement in night work induced fatigue and decreased number of mistakes, as well as increased work capacity. Now, I'm not a pilot or a sailor, and likely 99% of the people who watch this aren't either. But we all live in a very stressful world right now and we need to do everything we can to manage the stress we are exposed to every single day. 
and adaptogens will help you so much with that. Not only do we want to make this day and every day amazing, we want to be the healthiest version of ourselves possible so that we can live that kick-ass life. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video.